Hey, Eddie here, just a little intro. So today's video is about the leadership pill. We're gonna talk about everything this book has to offer. But before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to hear what books you're reading so that we can all learn together. Hey, Eddie here, the Tattooed Realtor. So I'm coming from you live from my backyard. Wanted to make another video about a book review of a book I just finished called The Leadership Pill. Now, I got this book from my local library here in Margate, which I highly recommend you support your local library. They have so many amazing assets and tools, DVDs and video games and books and comics and classes and everything you could possibly think of. They even have a cooking class, which is really cool. So anyways, today's video is about the book written by Ken called The Leadership Pill. Ken Blank, blank chart. I probably mispronounced that, but it's called The Leadership Pill. And so I got this book just purely by happenstance from the library. I was leaving for the day on Friday because I work out of the library a good chunk of my time. And um, I came across this book and I have to say I was pleasantly pleased. I'm so thankful that God led me to it because it has it is chock full of awesome resources. So I'm gonna jump straight into it. So the book is in total length, it is a hundred and 15 pages, but the way the book is written, like the format it's written, is actually fairly simple and small to read. And it's written like in a dialogue, which there's a conversation going on, or actually like a, a lesson going on where these two different companies, figured, you know, fictional companies, are one is using the leadership pill that a company has created to make you a better leader, and one is pill free, if you will. And then it works through the different scenarios, more so on the pill free side but they bring up some great valuable points when it comes to leadership. I know by owning multiple businesses and being a leader, it can be difficult from time to time because you don't know if you're leading correctly, you don't know if you're doing things the most optimal way possible. That's why I encourage you, just because you own a business or you know, you're the leader of it, you gotta be continually developing that skill, working on that skill because if you're not, you know, you're just kind of letting things go to waste. You're not getting any better. So Leadership Pill, I highly recommend. I was able to read it in about an hour. Um, I broke it up in two 30 minute section, ses sessions, if you will. Broke it down in about an hour. And the coolest thing is that in the back, I'm gonna tell you the, the key points. In the back of the book on page 110, I'll show it to you real quick. On page 110, it actually goes into detail about what they consider the secret blend of effective leadership. Now, Ken has done a great job to break things down very simply and to uh, make it very understandable and relatable. I got a great golden nuggets out of it, as I'm sure you will, so I'm gonna break it down really quickly. So the first one he goes in and he talks about integrity. Talking about leading with integrity means being a person, the person you want others to be. Basically being an example, and what leader can make, you know, value of that, being an example to those you are leading. Next point he brings up is partnership. I found the partnership section very intriguing. One of the key points, the key to effective leadership is the relationship you build with your team. Sharing the big picture puts everyone on the same page. How many times as leaders do we have a vision or an idea, but we don't really share it with the team? And I know I've been guilty of it, but now that it's brought up, I want to make every single team member, and it's funny because we don't call anybody that works for any of the companies that I run and own uh, an employee, we like to use the word teammate because we're all in a team together. That part about partnership, utterly amazing and very simple. Some of us ignore it. So we gotta share the big picture that puts everyone on the same page. The third point, affirmation. Praise is the easiest way to let people know they are very, they are appreciated. Each of us has the power to recognize the goodness in others. You will go a lot farther if you stop to refuel. I thought the first two points on affirmation, being praised or praising others is so important. My wife, Danielle, who is a uh, one of the lead makeup artists at Sephora, she, taught, she told me one time when we were having our weekly or monthly meetings um, about, yeah, I should use the word celebrate. I should celebrate my teammates. And I agree, you know, giving the praise right when it happens. A lot of people think to themselves like, oh, I'll just wait for, you know, at a later date or I'll catch them around the corner or whatever the case may be. No, if they do something great, praise them right then and there. Build them up, you know, give them those affirmations. Hearty in your affirmations and lavish in your praise. There you go. That's from, I think, the how to win, friend, how to, how to win people or how to make friends 
and influence people. I think, yeah, hearty in, hearty in your affirmation and no, la, hearty in your affirmation, lavish them with praise. Yeah, anyway, so that's a really cool one, affirmation. And the last little point about you will go farther if you stop to refuel. I have, um, I don't wanna call it a problem, but I definitely hustle a lot continually, so much so that I actually burn myself out to a detriment. When I read that statement, you go a lot further when you start to refuel, is so fascinating. He's talking about it more in the sense, I believe, as being a leader for your team to refuel, go on those outings. We have events here at my house where we'll do ax throwing or we'll have a bonfire, or we'll have a cookout or something like that. I do my absolute best to do them at least quarterly because it's important to stop. Um, you know, a lot of times in the past, I have been that person that just won't stop. It's important to stop and refuel. We can get a lot farther. It's okay to take a break. You know, sometimes I take a break and I'm still working on like projects, but it's just a different sort of project. So anyway, it's very important. And the last point, I told you this is super quick because this, bo this book cuts straight to the chase, is perfecting the blend. People will think for themselves when you quit doing it for them. One, leadership is the process of getting everyone to the place they are supposed to go. Two, the highest achievement as a leader is winning the respect and trust of your team. It's all about finding that perfect blend, finding those things that work for you, understanding that every person is different that's on your team, every person works differently that's on your team, and you just have to begin to understand those different habits. I highly recommend this book, Readability, a 10 all the way. Uh, entertainment, I would say about a 9 to a 9.5. It wasn't dry at all for what they call a business book. And I, I recommend that this is a book that you can get, buy, and then you know hand it off to the next person in your group. And then just keep going down the chain. I'm going to try to do that with all my teammates because uh, leaders are readers, if you will. So anyways, this is Eddie the Tattooed Realtor coming live from my backyard here in Margate about the Leadership Pill book. Highly recommend that you pick it up. I'll put the link in the description for Amazon. And uh, yeah, I'll check you guys later. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to know what books you're reading and uh, because I think if we share our resources, we can go that much farther. So anyways, you guys have a great day. A happy Thanksgiving. It's uh, Wednesday before Thanksgiving here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll catch you later. Bye.